here are my 11 people. Okay. Hi, have you ever wanted to make your own homemade moisturizer? I've been making herbal salves for six years now. I started out using recipes given to me by an herbalist, but I've now graduated to using my own recipes. An herbal salve is a moisturizing balm made out of oil, beeswax, and specific herbs used for their healing properties. Salves have many uses, but its moisturizing qualities are great for all skin types. The purpose of this speech is to demonstrate how to make herbal salves by showing you how to acquire ingredients, how to infuse oils, and how to cook the ingredients. So the first thing I'll be talking about is uh, the options of ingredients that you can use and how to acquire them. The second thing I will be talking about is how to infuse the oils with the herbs. And the third point I'll be making is how to cook all the ingredients into your final product. So my first point is how to acquire the herbs. So you want to start by looking into your local apothecaries or herb shops. There you'll be able to find almost all of your ingredients from the herbs themselves to the oil, to the beeswax, to the essential oils, and sometimes even suitable containers for yourself. Um, for this demonstration, I will be using nettles, plantain, comfrey, and yarrow for their anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. I'll also be using olive oil versus castor oil, sunflower seed oil, or coconut oil. It really just depends what you want to use for yourself. I will also be using lavender and tea tree essential oil for their great fragrance and for their antibacterial properties. And then lastly, I will be using uh, yellow beeswax pellets. So now that we have all of our ingredients, the second step is to infuse the herbs in the oil. So you wanna start by placing your herbs into a jar um, and then filling with your oil. A lot of air bubbles will start to rise up and you want to make sure that all of those escape before filling it to the very top and then placing an airtight lid on. Then you will leave it in a dark and cool place for at least four weeks. Um, after the four weeks have passed, then you will strain the oil. You can use either cheesecloth or a metal strainer and you will strain it into a bowl um, which you will use as a double boiler. So for my double boiler, I just have a pot and a bowl. This is so that you don't burn the oil. Um, cook at a very low temperature and add one ounce of beeswax per cup of oil. Once your beeswax has melted, you will add your essential oils. You can add as much as you like, just until you think it smells great. Um, and then give it a good stir and then pour into your container. So earlier I said a suitable container, what I meant was not plastic. You can use metal or glass. Um, then you will let it cool, and once it's cooled, you have your final product. You have homemade salve. Um, so to, in conclusion, today I've shown you how to make an herbal salve by talking about how to acquire ingredients, how to infuse oils, and how to cook the ingredients. Um, if you Place yourself into small containers. They're great for travel use and they make great gifts. Thank you.